Hi, welcome to my system here. We are working on an Arch Linux system. I promised myself to make tutorials also on other distros than Linux Mint. So here we are on a budgie desktop system. And as you can see, the icons are distro independent. And that was one of the goals. It should work anywhere. And we are going to make a movie about the modularity, which is another objective in our system here. So objectives, this is independent, check, and this movie is about how modular, how, what can you do with Safi. Let's go to our folder dot icons. This should be the latest uh, version. I'm not sure, so I'm going to delete everything. And I'm going to go to my little script here get me icons, uh, sorry, long wrong one, Savvy version 2, not extra. These are the ones coming from SourceForge. It's going to be downloaded, unzipped, and there we go. We have the latest version available. So I'm pretty sure now this has, uh, it is the latest version. You can always check here in the change log. Where is it? There. So this movie is about modularity might be possible that you like this look. Great then, you don't have to change anything. might be also possible that you like these icons, which are all monochrome. You know? And you might also like the savvy arc folders, the arc folders. The thing is, I would like to combine these gray icons from savvy mono with the blue folders from um, Arc, is that possible? Yes, and that's why Arc, uh, the Savvy icons are so modular. So in Savvy Arc, the only thing we have in here is just our places, the folders. So it's like an uh, an engine, a locomotive. You can hang this one behind the Savvy mono. So we're gonna do just that. Three steps: copy paste, copy paste. Savvy Arc, rename it to the proper thing since we're gonna hang it behind the mono, inherit. Eh? We're gonna say get all the icons from the Savvy mono and then go on. So the Savvy mono arc, that's one. Phase two, go inside index team, rename the thing Savvy mono arc, and this is more important, tell it to inherit from the right folder. So Sardi Mono, go check for the apps in there and the rest comes from the folders. If you don't find it in Sardi Mono, then you go to Sardi and so on. So save, close, close. Voilà. That's phase two. Now the icon theme cache is still the old one, so I'm going to create a new one like so. And now we can select. So we have a new Sadly Mono Arc, which we can select now with our Raven tool here. We have this special panel, so as you can see, and you can change here as well. But as you can see, the Sadly Mono Arc is not yet loaded. That's why I always take the GNOME Tweak tool and select it like this. And as you can see, this is the what what we wanted to make we have now a savvy mono arc everything is mono but this is still blue so that concludes the movie we have now made savvy mono arc